Hi, I'm, I'm Lewis Greenwood and I go currently study at Odom Sixth Form College. Um, now, why do I want to study film production? Well, all my life I've had a massive passion for film. I mean, I spend most of my spare time watching films, uh, it's, it's what I enjoy doing. And uh, from a young age, I, I'd obviously just watch the films visually and just like, enjoy them that way. But as I've got older, I've, like, I've begun to respect how the film's made. So. I, I try and study on how each film is created, so I'll obviously I'll watch the special features and see how the director's input on a scene, or the writer, and even even by books. Like one well, of my favourite films of all time for me is The Dark Knight Rises. I'm, obviously, I'm wearing the T-shirt for The Dark Knight Rises, and I was so obsessed with the film and how it was filmed, um, the locations. I even bought um, the book, um, the making of the Dark Knight trilogy. And I've read it twice <laughs> because it's just brilliant. It just gives me an insight on how they created certain elements, like in the second film, in The Dark Knight, how, how they created Harvey Dent, you know, the Two Face sort of style. I always, I always quite wondered how they did like shoot scenes like that. And this, and obviously they're using uh, makeup and um, green screen style. And it's, it was really interesting for me. So if I was to go on this course and do film production, like. I'd, I'd, I probably would like enjoy probably being about the special effects team, but I'm also quite interested in the cinematography and even directing. My strongest attribute, well, my, my strongest attribute for me definitely is my imagination. I'm probably too imaginative and too creative sometimes. It, I kind of like let myself go and go, go off on a mad journey. And I, sometimes when I'm working with people, they get a bit annoyed, like, oh, Louis, I can't do that. It's too big scales. I know, like, never. And um, like I do drama. And when I'm writing scripts um, for them, because I, I like to write, I like to write a lot. The way I come up with most of my ideas is with music. Now I, I listen to a lot of Two Steps from Hell, which are two composers, Thomas Burks and Nick Phoenix, who do like scores for um, TV trailers and stuff like that. And when I listen to music like that, it just lets my imagination run wild. So when I'm walking down the street listening to their music, as I like, also am um, listening to, um, I don't know, um, to Glory. Um, then also I can imagine a dragon flying across, which which is quite creative, and it helps me to imagine how a scene could be put together. Um, my my biggest inspiration, oh, there's too many for my inspiration. Out up there will be Peter Jackson. Uh, well, so um, Joss Whedon especially because he's not just a director; he's also a writer, producer, actor, editor. He does a bit of everything, and that's what I'd want to be. I wouldn't want to just nail myself down to one specific thing. Like I would be happy to learn just about one aspect, and I'd be like, well, can I learn a bit about this? Like, so if I was to become a director or a writer or something, I could say, well, can I help out with your editing while you're here? So, like, so I'd help out, and I'd like to be part of everything. I'm one of those sort of people who wants to be in and out and everywhere. Oh, my most memorable film scene, oh, definitely from The Dark Knight Rises, the first fight between Bane and Batman. Now, that scene for me, just outlines how such a great director Christopher Nolan is. I mean, the convention for a film, for a fight scene especially, is to score it. And well, with, with The Dark Knight Rises, the entire film scored beautifully by Hans Zimmer. But then this one scene between Batman and Bane, there's no score to it. It's just the fight and just the scene that's going on. Which is something that I found really interesting because I'm used to, obviously, watching a film with a score to it. And there's this such an impactful fight, like you could... It was so brutal that it worked brilliantly. Like you could hear each punch, and it weren't like over exaggerated in any way or form. It was raw and real, and it kind of like because with Batman, they quite tried to make him with Nolan series really real and gritty. With the score, obviously, it keeps that. But with that one scene, it just made it so memorable for me. And I, that scene will probably stay with me for the rest of my life. Uh, a big memorable moment for me would probably be the first time. <laughs> I watched um, Star Wars, the, the, very, the original Star Wars, because oh, I think I was something about eight or seven years old and it was on VHS, the good old days, and um, I remember watching it and even though it was the CGI wasn't the best, the script was just brilliant and it was, it was one of my dad's favourite films and he, he, he told me when I was young, he was like, you, you seem to be into science, man, oh, look at this one Lewis, so I watched it and it was just one of those moments where that was probably one of the moments I wanted to get into film.